Zach Lashway joins us now. And Zach, uh, Duval County School Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says that we'll know this week the final version of reopening schools. She took part in a virtual town hall last yeah, night, Yeah, that's Zach. right, Jen. And Dr. Green has... Go ahead. Bruce, yes, and that is right. Dr. Green has said over and over again she wants families to have options. We are less than three weeks away from that scheduled start date. We are amid this pandemic. She wants parents to know that she knows that this is a very fluid situation. Superintendent Dr. Diana Green says she plans to present the district's final reopening plan on Thursday. I still probably would push for a hybrid because we have thousands of students who need brick and mortar. Discussing the district's reopening plan in a virtual town hall meeting, Dr. Green said many families rely on meals provided by the district and distance learning is not an effective option for all situations. Some of our families, they're going to struggle. The families that both parents work we need to be there for them. Dr. Green also talked about what would happen if a student gets sick. She says the district plans to work with the health department, and if a student tests positive, they will be asked to self-quarantine for 14 days. The district will also contact everyone that student has had contact with, and they will also be asked to self-quarantine. Again, Dr. Green says we can expect to hear that final reopening plan on Thursday. During that meeting, she tackled what many of us know as summer slump and how the district plans to assess learning gaps and will make sure Duval homeroom students are progressing at the same rate as students who attend brick and mortar schools. Today at one o'clock, the school board is meeting to talk more about the renaming of six local schools that have names of Confederate leaders. We, of course, will continue to follow this and bring you the latest on air and online. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.